Hey everybody, she said Chris coming at you live from my kitchen. I had gotten everything set up to do this out on our deck and uh, I was, it was a race against the rain and I lost. Uh, it was much needed rain, our fire dangers were very high so it's been uh, raining uh, all uh, for all day and it's supposed to rain for a couple more days so so that's good, we, we were desperately need through some rain. So. Tonight, um, I threw a chicken, a whole chicken on my uh, smoker and uh, have room for this dish that I've been wanting to do for a while that I saw. And what more is gonna do, um, it's gonna be a bacon, potato, and cheese. Imagine that, the three basic food groups. Um, we're gonna do that, I say, we're gonna cook it on my smoker, vision group, we're not really smoking it, but we're gonna cook it in this. My little cast iron, my five dollar thrift store fine. This is actually at number three, I believe, or two. I'm not real sure. It's hard to I think it's a three because if in comparison, that's a six, and that's a that's a normal size eight. So I think it's I think it says three. So I will, uh, pretty basic to make, um, but hey, well first, I just, we gotta get a priority street. You know, it is past five o'clock here, and so you gotta get the, you know, we gotta start, it's 10 after, we gotta get the priority street. Yes, we got the old, old Henry's in the cheese cup. Cheers, everybody. Ish, that's good. <laughs> so, we'll get the camera reset up here and uh, we'll go about uh, putting this together and then we'll get it uh, thrown on the grill. Be back in a second. All right, guys and gals, I'm back. And uh, like I said, I've never tried this recipe before. Um, this next step here, I'm kind of taking a page out of a little Dutch oven cooking. Um, this is just parchment paper. Um, I cut uh, a piece previous, but it got wet when it was outside, so we're going to cut another piece and then just flip it over. There's easier ways. To, I think this is the easiest way. And I'm going to actually cut this a little bit bigger than the actual pan, so it kind of fits up the sides for the bacon. Um, I don't know if you need to do this. It might help. At least it kind of separate the grease, bacon grease, from the potatoes. Let's see, we're just going to take. Pretty much that should fit in like that. Just kind of crimp it in there. All right, next, I'm going to take the bacon. Now, the original recipe I saw, this was done in a pie pan. And uh, they kind of they put it in like this and folded it over, but since I'm doing such a you know it uses a lot of bacon and since it's just me, we're gonna just place it in like this and we're gonna fold it over. I think that should should work. And this is this thick cut bacon. Um, I think probably works the best. But I'm not. Ah, look at that. I'll put that there. We got one piece left. So there's our there's our bacon. So next, we'll put that over here. There. We're gonna take just a regular. Idaho potato, I think it is, russet, whatever, I think it's Idaho. And I'm lazy, I'm not peeling it. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna cut fairly, you know, 
thin slices because you want them in evenly. And if you're no, I'm, <laughs> because I was, if you, I mean, this is something you could cook camping. Um, normally, if I was slicing potatoes, to get, um, I'd be using a yeah, for home cooking a mandolin, which works slicker than slick. But since we're pretending we're outside, we're gonna slice it. All right, and then so next, I'll just let's see here. I did a pretty good job. We're just gonna slight put them all in here like this. Kind of spread it out so we get everything spread out evenly. So we get everything in there. Kind of get these smaller pieces. Kind of put that in the middle, like that, like so. And I'm just using. That I had on hand. We're going to use some sharp Wisconsin. Yay, Wisconsin! <laughs> Cheddar and some uh, mozzarella. So you get that gooey, gooey. You can use whatever flavors you want. This is what, see, this is what we had to spread it out. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Well, we'll do it here. I forgot to uh, season the potatoes. So I'm just going to use, I'll just put a little pepper on this. I'm going to put my potatoes in bigger slices in there. See, we might have some leftover here, heaven forbid. Oh, you know what? This is hard work. I need a drink. Good stuff. So we're going to throw a little... mozzarella in there. I'll throw a little bit more... You know what we're gonna throw in just for some flavor. I like this garlic salt with the parsley. And then we're just gonna there's some thin pieces there. Oh well, guess what? One potato gun off it. Looky there. And who knows, we may just have one big ass grease pile, but we'll see, huh? Excuse me, hoofda. All right, and then we're just gonna flip it over. See that? See that masterpiece? Oof -da. Dang, that calls for a celebration. Ah, one more. 
So, looking at my grill, it's getting a little chill, cool down. We're gonna have to get some more air into it. So, all right, I'm gonna turn the camera off here for a second and then uh, we'll transfer you outside with quit rain for a second. We'll throw this on the grill, make some adjustments there, and then we'll see what happens. Bring it back in a bit. All right, here we go. We're gonna make some adjustments. Bird's looking good. We're gonna just put that like right over here, right behind it. So it's kind of centered a little bit. And uh, looking good. We'll check. We will uh, leave us on for about an hour and then uh, we'll come back and uh, check it. So go grab yourself a cold one. I'm going to finish with mine and then uh, we'll check her back in an hour. All right. Here it is. We're gonna let that sit for a few minutes. Stop boiling, stop bubbling, and then we'll flip it over and we'll see how it is. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, in theory, this should fall right out. In theory, So this was on, on just for about 50 minutes. My grill got a little bit warmer, but not, it didn't get over, it might have got up to 375 at one point. I accidentally had left the top vent open. So, all right, here we go. Let's try this. Look at that. Oh, da. I lost my knife. I don't want to use that knife. What do I do with my knife? We'll be right back. Oh, look at that one. Alrighty. All right, let's see what this baby looks like. I think I done good. I think I did. Hmm. Sure. They're done. They're done enough. Maybe another five minutes or so. That's kind of a thick potato too, but they're good. It's good, folks. Oh, there you go. So there you have it. Ba bacon cheese potato pie in a cast iron pan. Go try it. So, alrighty. Till next time. 
hopefully, uh, like I say, we, I'll post the clip in there. We had actually rain and, uh, and hail going on <laughs> at the same time. So I'll see if I can get that clip. That's my phone. See if I can get that in there for a second. But uh, thanks again. Well, uh, chicken turned out perfect too, I think. Nice mahogany there. They let that set up a little bit more. I probably could have let the pie, the potato, bacon things uh, set a little bit more, but I was anxious to see how it turned out. So we will definitely be doing this again next time from the woods. So, all right, folks. Till get out, go make something. Take a kid with you. Till then, we'll catch you on the next time. Cheesehead gone.